When the world's turned upside down, it's strange what you start to miss. Rotor DR1 is a community collaborated project where we come together as a community to create all the content. It empowers the community to develop characters and stories, a series, movies, games. We started by making a series, a webisode series. We fleshed out the first episode in a forum. We shot the first episode, we aired it, and then we designed and developed episode two based on the feedback that we got from the audience and the community. We aired episode two and so on and so on. By the middle of it, it definitely got pretty crazy, but we got through it. We got all 10 episodes done and we have a complete story. So we've built a world that allows people to tell stories within our world. We really tried to maximize the level of input that we brought in from the community. Everything from choosing characters to the science behind the technology, it was all developed together with the community. What we have now is a Rotorverse. It's a community developed independent franchise. We're really trying to connect and work with the community like no one else has before. The drone races, this was something that came up and was thrown out by the community. And to top it off, we invited them to the drone races. We had people coming from Florida all the way to Ohio just to be in the drone races. They got to show up and, and help out and be part of a movie making process. One of the things that we get really excited about is the star of Rotor DR1, DR1. We even created printable 3D files of the DR1 model that allows people to print the DR1 model, build it themselves, and they can make their own movies. There are so many elements in the Rotorverse that were created through collaboration. We even have props like this, which was uh, suggested by people in the forum. And then David, who's a radio control celebrity, he came over from Sweden, actually built the gun and played the part of the drone hunter. We did things like we started Kitch's journal. We opened it up so anybody in the community could record his journal entries as if they were him. And we used those ideas to inspire scenes and settings and, and things that we did in the series. We even had uh, one of the community members submitted a poem that we ended up turning into a song that we put in the series. Everything's a wasteland, I'll never be free. One of my favorite elements was we asked community members to submit videos as if they were there during the outbreak and things were falling apart. And we used those videos for the opening intro to kind of set the tone of what happened. Why are we even doing this? Well, we're doing it because it is the future of entertainment. People are choosing more and more every week exactly what they want to do, what they want to watch, and we want to give them quality options. So we think this is the way to do it, community collaborated entertainment. If we can continue to refine community collaboration, we can make entertainment faster and better. We're just going to keep making the content and listening to the audience and see where they take us. Thanks for listening. So why are we so excited about this?